The American dates have been going really well. Um, you know, besides what happened on September 11th, uh, we, we didn't know what to expect, you know. But I, I think at this point in time right now, the kids need this, man. They need somewhere where they can go and feel normal again, you know. Postpone the dates because right now it's just a very volatile time in our country, you know. And um, as much as I want to go and play these shows, it's very, very important that we stay close to our families right now just for the fact that we don't know what's going to happen. If anything were to happen to my family, man, I would fucking flip out, dude. I, there, you couldn't stop me from having a breakdown. When I got the news that we were number one in the UK, I couldn't believe it. I was like, oh my God. It, it, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. I, I just sat there. I was numb. The UK has been so good to us anyway. And uh, they really supported us. It was a really great feeling knowing that the support was still there, even though we hadn't been over there for, you know, I mean, we did a couple shows in England, and that was it on, you know, the European leg. And uh, it, 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 it was what I needed to hear. We will get over there because, you know, all our kids matter to us. It's getting fucking old. We have something that works and what it's called a slipknot and it takes nine severe personalities to make it go off without a hook and without uh, my eight other brothers, my show wouldn't be anything. Do you think, let's fucking go up there and show them how the fuck it's done, goddamn. We played here before, let's fucking step it up ten times better than the last time we were fucking here. One, two, three, fuck you! When we come to the UK, we're not going to scale down these sh the shows that we're going to play there any more than we're doing here in the United States. I mean, if, uh, you know, a lot of bands don't want to, you know, bring like a lot of things over there because they're scared about losing money and stuff. We don't even care about that. We want to make sure that the UK fans get to see the show the way it's supposed to be done. We have so many ideas that we're years behind. The tour now is just slowly, slowly getting to where we want. I, to date, don't even remember all the gods that I love, you know, having a show quite like what we're doing. Once again, it's me and no one else I can't remember the one that someone else But that man is not fair It's out of my hands and it's like a You'll never die now It is battle. Going on stage is battle. It is war. There isn't one day I don't think that I could be seriously maimed, killed, or uh, hurt someone else in the band. I mean, we don't fuck around on stage. It's the truth. Anybody who has seen us, anybody who stands on stage, anybody who stands in front of stage, the one thing that we will always do is get it on in that 60 minutes. The other 23 hours of the day can go screw itself.
we put the human factor into it, you know, the human being engulfed with flames or the human being pissed on by the top of a, a riser. We have so much stuff going on um, um, that that's what takes it to the level. And that's what we're giving the fans that I don't think they can get anywhere else is that we are basically slowly killing ourselves. And you're not going to go crazy. You are not going to go fucking crazy. Because if you're 5-5-5, five, 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 we're all 6-6-6. Six, six, six. This song is called The Heretic Anthem! Oh, <laughs> 